Well, hey Virgos, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmeen. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. All right, Virgos, we're gonna go ahead and get to your reading. Before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and get a card for you. We're going to get an Oracle card for you Virgos. There we go. At the bottom of the deck, allow yourself to receive. It's so funny because spirit be on it when it comes down to these cards. <laughs> oh man, I've, I've been having a lot of Virgo readings and it's that's literally what it's saying. So just because there's gonna be turn of events for a lot of you guys, and this is about receiving now, no longer being able to just give, give, give your heart out and then get disappointed when you don't get it in return. Here it says forgiveness of ourselves. Okay, so this is definitely a Virgo reading. This is about the Virgos and no one else. So, you know, you should be you should feel special. It says when something goes wrong, even if the circumstances were out of our control or we did the very best that we could possibly do, we can still carry guilt after the event. The gift, the gift of guilt, the gift, okay. <laughs> The gift, the gift of guilt is to help us to learn and to develop a conscience, not to carry a ball and chain for the rest of our lives. It says, listen to the learning and forgive yourself for not being perfect. Release any guilt today. Now, when I hear guilt, I just feel like it's not guilt, really. You know, some of you may have guilt, but I feel like it's more so disappointment that, you know, maybe you allow yourself to be in a predicament that you were in. You know, maybe you were with that allowing yourself to receive, you gave, gave, gave so much and you're like, you know, you feel foolish. So that's what I feel like that's saying. So Virgos, we're gonna go ahead and get into your reading. We're gonna see what it shows for you, beautiful people today. Let's go ahead, let's get into it for Virgo. Hey Virgo. Okay, a lot came out. So this was the first one that came out here. Oh, this was a lot. Wow, wow. Okay, it's here. I'm taking it. <laughs> here I have the Three of Cups. This is talking about celebration, good times. And this is what is really needed. This is like relaxing, enjoying yourselves. Yes, that's what's needed at this, at this point in time. Um, and this is also talking about coming together, reuniting, that type of thing too for some. Here we have the Four of Wands. This is also talk about celebration. What are you guys celebrating, Virgos? What is all this happy celebration? This is with friends, family. I see food, I hear laughter, you know what I mean? Laying back, not worried about anything. Um, you know, it's just like the carefree aspect. And this is what you guys are needing so heavily here. Wow, I might as well just put anything down. Here with the Strength card. You guys have been through it, right? even to the point where you felt restrained. But I feel like here with that strength card, I felt like somebody was holding back. This was someone else's feelings. This could have been you or someone else. You guys have been through a struggle, that's true, where you felt like, you know, um, and this was mental, even though her physically is being, like she's being physically restricted, but mentally that could have been one of those things that you couldn't get out of a certain mind, mind thought or mind process. But I really do feel like this is also about, you know, not being able to really freely express yourself to be you. This is repression of any kind, I feel, that is here with that strength card, but being strong enough to what? Break free. And this is what she, that this is what she has done. Even though the snake is still there, she is still able to break free from this. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get another one here with the King of Swords. This is practicality. This is thinking. This is intellectual. Uh, you know, this is just, you know, to me personally, I feel like this is someone else thinking about you guys. This is what I said before. I believe that someone that you've been dealing with was, this was more so about the mind than it had to do with the heart. Um, and you guys have grown cold a lot too because you feel disappointed in yourselves. You hate the fact that you have given so much and you didn't allow to receive. And some of you guys have even grown cold, cold to your own feelings. You don't want to cry. You don't want to think about it. You don't want to face reality. You just want to, you know, swoop it away, right? Like, I, I don't want to deal with it. Let's just continue. Let me just move. 
But this is the peace that you're about to receive here with the Six of Swords. Whether it's, you know, you guys traveling, going to a peaceful area, or just in general, finally finding peace in your soul. Now, I want to be honest with you. I do see here that there is some type of love offer here with the Page of Cups. It does talk about apology. Um, something that can turn into... Um, Something very good and stable. I, I mean, it's worth celebrating here, at least. It may have been a delay in this situation here with the hangman. And we're going to find out more. Let's go ahead and get some more for Virgo. Okay. All right. They're coming out. Five of Swords. Oh, interesting. It's falling up under that, that strength card. Who are you fighting against? <laughs> okay. Someone feels defeated. Is it you? Remember, I was talking about mentally defeated. Maybe someone else feels defeated. Someone here was playing a lot of games and it wind up hurting them that it didn't it end up hurting you. I, I also feel that way. Okay, and I don't feel that you're the only person in this position that feels pain. I feel there is pain here. King of Wands, you got two kings. Some of you guys are going to have to decide between two different people. Now, one person you're going to be walking away from um, and I also believe that maybe someone wants to come back. That is the case here. Um, that card is so dark. I thought that like the light wasn't working. I'm like, what in the world? It is very dark. Um, but I do feel here that there is, um, you know, incoming someone, you leaving. You may have already left someone, but I do feel like there is someone coming in here. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. We're going to go ahead and clarify these cards. We're going to start with the Three of Cups and see what this is all about for... Virgo. I saw the hangman try to flip over again. You guys have been waiting a while for something to happen here. It's been a delay. Three of Cups for Virgo. Three of Cups. Abundance. Ooh, you guys are feeling comfortable, so you're feeling good. We have the, the Justice card here, so that means something that was not fair before. This is the universe working it in your favor. Now you're feeling like, okay, things are starting to work out. Things are starting to pan out. That's what I'm saying. Okay, it could be for anything, really. Four of Wands. There is some unfulfillment that maybe someone is feeling, you or someone else. Okay, wow, Four of Wands. It looks like there, there may be a reconciliation here, an announcement, wedding. <laughs> For some of you, it could be a, an announcement here. I feel like here with the Three of Wands, you guys have been waiting for, you know, something to make you feel alive again, okay? Hence this judgment card. This is like, you know, um, you know, something that has been dead coming back to life. And this is even your spirit. So you guys have been waiting for this. And then, like I said, here with you, this is talking about stability when it comes down to money and finances, but it also talks about a long-term committed relationship, but it is a wish. It is something coming true here is what I'm saying. Again, that's why I say it's something that you guys have been waiting for. You've been waiting for it for a very long time and it is coming in. Okay, your ships are finally coming in here. Let's go ahead and get the strength card for Virgo. Yeah, you were strong enough to cut something away. Now, this is interesting. Oof, wow. Because see, this this being clarified by the the Queen of Swords, that means it took a lot of strength for you to walk away or cut, cut, cut something to lose. That was hard. Because see, now we're talking about emotions that were involved. You really had love for someone. You really had a strong attachment to someone. But when you cut it loose, look how happy you started to feel. You felt free. You, it was a sense of freedom here. There is going to be so many happy moments, but you needed to do something in order for you to live. Because we're, we're talking about something was holding you back. It was, it was like you couldn't move. Like maybe the idea of being with someone or the idea of, you know, whatever. It was, it, and it wasn't working. It was delayed. It didn't happen. And that was keeping you back. And so she used that sword to cut herself away. Like that, 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 uh, what was it? The strength card here. She broke free from that. Okay. And this is what you guys have done. And then look at what happened. The sun came out. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and get the king of swords. <clears throat> exactly. Clarity here. This is victory energy. Some of you guys are going to be talking to someone new. I feel here. Communication. Is what I'm saying, or if it's dealing with someone from the past, you definitely haven't talked to them in a while. Okay, if this is if you you know for some of you guys, if you're dealing with your past person, there will be communication here. But it's victory here for you, Virgo. 
Let's go ahead and get the Six of Swords. Ooh, Six of Swords. Someone wants to come back. We have the King of Wands twice here. Someone that you are you you were really passionate about. Now it could have been this person that you it took a, a hard time for you to cut away. It could be them because there's someone missing you here. It's some lack in this king's life. It's some lack in this person's life. It's almost like life isn't really complete without you here with the five of pentacles. They feel that energy. Let's go ahead. Let's get the page of the cups. Virgo, someone is going to fight for you, fight for the attention. They may have to even fight themselves, okay, truly, to get to get to you, okay? Um, this person may not, you know how like generally you may make, you, you're the person that may, you know, have the conversation or send messages. They're like fighting themselves, like, should I do this? I don't know. I, should, I don't know if I should do this or not. But because they have this big lack in their heart, it's like, you know, they're going to have to do it eventually because they're, they're not going to feel right until they do. That's what I'm saying. Like, I really do see that someone is fighting themselves to send a message. But it's going to change. This is going to be a new beginning here. Because someone feels like something is incomplete. Let's go ahead and get the Five of Swords. Five of Swords. Wow, that flew behind me. One second. Okay. So some of you guys were dealing with someone who had somebody else. Again, this strength card here, a lot of struggle, a lot of struggle, and you felt defeated. You really did. Okay. Um, you've been through a lot of struggle, Virgo. I'm really seeing that you really have, but I, I'm happy that I see a new, per, a new person here. This is not just an old person. I see the old person, but I also see the new person. But, you know, you guys may have to choose or decide who you want. Because here it talks about competition. You have two messages coming in here. Okay? Let's get the King of Wands. Someone is fighting themselves. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to show you at the bottom of the deck. This is the Emperor. Ooh, that is the counterpart to the Empress. So your divine masculine or divine feminine is in this reading, Virgo. So here with the uh, devil card, I just feel like someone that you have dealt with in the past that may have had toxic energy, I don't believe that that's toxicity anymore. I feel like that is a very strong bond. And the reason why I say that is because of the angel and the devil. You guys already know how I feel about that. Um, I really do feel like that is someone that you, you know, that is hard to break free. It, it's almost like you guys are chained together, Okay. Um, you guys may not have been talking here. There's been some sad energy. I really do feel like you and this person both have been watching each other here with the Page of Swords. But there is a connection coming in here with the Knight of Cups. And I do feel like it's more than one. So this is going to be very interesting how this is going to work. Because some of you guys are going to be dealing with someone from the past who's coming back. They're leaving things behind. And this is funny because the face is here which talks about un unexpected like a lot of you guys are not really expecting this to happen, but it's here. You have love coming in your life. And this is going to be someone who's going to take care of you, who wants to give you the what? The world. We saw the world card there. So this is really, really good. But the thing is, you know, try not to overthink, please, Virgo. Because see, we saw that with the forgiveness of ourselves. We have a tendency to overthink everything. Try not to overthink, okay? But allow this to happen naturally. So Virgos, this is what I'm seeing for you guys. Victory energy, a lot of beautiful energy here. Um, again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe. And Virgos, I love you and I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye guys.